Okay, yeah, for our maths lesson today, we are comparing numbers up to four digits. So again, moving from silver through to diamond, which is starting to go above year four. So proving your knowledge and understanding of year four national standard. And our word wall, we're using the words more than, less than and compare today, as well as our usual vocabulary. So true or false then? We have two numbers represented by counters and we have our greater than sign here. So is it true or is it false? Pause the video and have a go. Okay, then this number is 3,465 and this number is 4,300, no 10s and no 1s, so 4,300. So which one is bigger? Okay, so we should have had our crocodile, our greater than less than sign printing this way because 4,300 is the bigger number, so it's false. Okay then, how do we compare numbers and what symbols can we use to help us? We've already touched upon this, what symbols help us to compare? Okay, we know we use our crocodiles and we can always use our equal sign as well if two numbers are equivalent. So, compare these numbers. What skill could we use to help us decide which number is greater? So, we could use our part whole model to partition each number to see clearly which one is bigger and which one is smaller. So, 2100, we have 2100, no tens and no ones. 2020, we have 2000, no hundreds, two tens and no ones. So now we can clearly see which one is bigger. Okay, we can compare them. So they've both got 2000. So at the moment they're the same. Let's move into the hundreds because that's the next biggest in the place value grid. Okay, this one's got 100, this one's got no 100. So straight away we can see that we should be using this crocodile here because 2100 is greater than 2020. Okay then, so compare these numbers using your crocodiles you're greater than and less than symbols. So pause the video and have a little go independently. Okay then, so let's just pop in our answers. And you can check whether you were correct. And if you needed to, you could of course partition these numbers to help you if you can't see which one is bigger um, by just looking at the number, then you can partition. So, if some of you are starting on bronze today, you are continuing to compare numbers using your crocodiles and your equal sign, and you have some independent questions to get on with here. For silver, then, you're starting to move into your varied fluency questions, so different styles of questions, but you are still comparing. So, have a look at the two numbers. Let's work out what they are first. So this one we've got 1,000, 100, 110 and two ones. And this number here we've got 1,000, 200, 110 and one ones. So looking at the numbers, they've both got 1,000, that's got 100, well that's got 200, so that one must be bigger. So we've used our crocodile to compare the numbers. Another one then, we've got our numbers partitioned. So we need to combine them first. So we've got 3,237 and we've got 2,000. We've got 200 here and 100 here, so it's 337. So which one is greater? This number is greater on the left. Okay, so your silver questions are here to be getting on with independently. Gold them. Michael says, if I use the digits 1 to 9 in all three numbers below with the same digit in each number, 
there will always be two numbers which could correctly complete the statement. Okay, so have a little look at this question. If I use the digit 1 to 9 in all three numbers below, with the same digit in each number, there will always be two numbers which could correctly complete the statement. Okay, so have a little go at this one independently and let's see if you can complete it. Okay then, another question's type. Damon and Molly are comparing numbers. My number is greater than Molly's number because I have three thousands, eight hundreds, two tens and six ones. Okay, so he has three thousand, eight hundred, two tens, six ones. Molly, oh well she's partitioned her number, so she has three thousand, seven hundred, ninety and four. Okay, so whose number is greater? Well, we can clearly see Damon's number is greater because he has eight hundreds and Molly has seven hundreds. Okay then, your goal questions are here. Moving on to platinum. Okay, so our numbers are partitioned, so we need to merge them together to form one number and then we can compare them. So we have nine tens, so ninety, five thousands, and 701 one. so let's put them all together 5791 this number we have 5791 so that would make 5719 so now we can compare them so we can clearly see that because this one has got nine tens and this one's got one ten that the left number is the bigger number Another one then, 1,700, 210, 320 and 18. So we have eight ones, we have four tens, we have seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve hundreds and we have one thousand but we have another thousand from our hundreds column so 2,248. This one then we have seventeen hundreds. 510 and 16 so that would make six ones two tens eight nine ten eleven twelve so we've got two thousand two hundred and twenty six on this side so now we can compare them using our knowledge of place value both got two thousand both got two hundred but this one has got four tens so it's bigger because four tens and two tens and four tens is bigger Okay, so your platinum questions are here. If you get those finished, you also have your diamond questions to be moving on with. Using your knowledge of place value, you've got some uh, deans, some counters um, and different types of apparatus to add together to form a number and then you can compare them.